John Young with the Distrackey News. We are looking today at the Fender Passport 500 Pro. Now, a lot of you have had the 250 Deluxe from Fender, uh, the Passport. Great unit. Kind of bulletproof. I've had one for, well, since they came out. And we use it probably 20 times a year at different outdoor ceremonies. So I was really excited to see the 500. The 500 is a 500 watt system. If you can look over here, it's got an 8 inch, it's an 8 inch two way. Here's the other top right here. Very lightweight. This is actually the front or the back. It clamps on to our amplifying unit. The front has all the controls for the amplifying unit. The back has a really nice, let me just turn this around for you to take a look at. This is something that they changed a little bit from the 250 that I have. Shelves. So we can put our wires, our microphones, and, and a power supply, putting the power cord in there. Everything goes in there, clamps in, speaker goes on over, yeah, I like that. Another thing that I like is that they moved the speaker jacks to the back. They used to be in the front, now they're in the back, and the power switch is in the back. I've had problems with that on, when it's on the front, and I've had kids coming up and playing with it, and somehow they've hit the power switch. I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of knobs and buttons, but why would they hit the power switch? I don't know. But let's take a look. Let's zoom in and just kind of go over some of the things that you're seeing on the Passport 500 Pro. So we're looking at the Fender Passport 500 Pro. And we're going to start in the upper left. We've got, of course, our main volume knob. Um, very similar. It's got the LEDs bouncing. That's pretty cool. One thing I'm not a huge fan of is the tone. I mean, the tone is, is, is okay. You know, as you turn to the left, you get a little more bassy sound, a little, a little more to the, the highs on that. I'm not a huge fan of that but it works on this system. I'm just gonna leave it at that and you'll, as we continue on, uh, we'll go with that. Um, you'll see at the bottom there of our picture, the USB port. This is kind of cool because not only can the USB port be used for recording, it can also be used for some, some playback. You'll see as we kind of screw, right there. We've got the ability to control the USB port and, and uh, the tracks that are on that. Very, very neat. Not all devices that have USB functionality, some it's strictly for playback, some it's for recording. But with the Fender Passport 500 Pro, it can do both. Um, get some reverb things and going on in the corner for the, you know, not so much of a DJ, although there have been times I've used a little bit of reverb on the older one when it comes to uh, singers, wanting a little echo effect. We're going to back out and just kind of scroll down a little bit here. There we go. Now this is one of the difference between the, the 500 the new 500 and the older units. In the older units, everything was kind of a cross. Now we have uh, seven channels in USB, so we have eight total channels, and they're they're vertical. So you've got your, on all of them, as you've got the very top knob, uh, like on the upper left, you've got your level, right below it, you've got your high, and then you've got your low. So you have a little bit more control on each channel, which kind of makes that top tone knob a little, you know, less important, but it would still be nice to have a three band EQ in there or maybe even you know just a little bit more control over the overall sound. Um, we continue on down and we've got a reverb there if we need to put a microphone reverb on a mic and then we've got a pad button. We get down to our mic inputs and a line input. Now we're going to go down a little farther. Staying on that left side of the screen you're seeing a level. That is a stereo out so if you needed to jump to another another sound system or another source. You could do that and that's something that's new in the 500 Pro that wasn't in some of the older ones. The ability to jump out and to be able to control it with that level. So if you needed to you could come out from that go into a wireless microphone uh, type system or wireless system that would transmit sound to a different room and you can control it with that level. So that's kind of a cool thing where you could have the whole mix come to that transfer to a different room and off you go. Uh, looking at our mic inputs, it looks like we've got six mic inputs, and then we're going to come across a little bit more. And you see that little black dot? There's just two little black dots right there in the, kind of the right center, right here and right here. That is where your iPod or your 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 devi small device would come in with an eighth inch jack. I don't have that with me, so I have to use, uh, what I used is just took my old RCA and I've got the little adapter to a quarter inch, and I could run it in right there. Yeah, I'm just going to pull them out so they're out of the way for now. But that's how, how you can do that. So you can run a variety of different, and again we've got the reverb and, and different controls up above. Uh, let's look down towards the bottom. Here is probably one of the coolest features on the 500 that is new. And again a lot of the newer high, higher end tech pieces have this ability. 
We've got our, our pre in and out. That's, I believe that was on a 250. Again, as a DJ, I really don't use that. It's that on the right, where you see that sub out. What that sub out does is that will go, you can go with a quarter inch into a powered sub. Once it's plug, once you plug into that, it's going to roll off everything below, I believe, 120 hertz. Then they're gonna send that to the sub. So now the system, if you heard it earlier in our video, in one of our videos, has great sound and it has a lot of thump, but when you had the sub, now this 500 watts is only needing to push the tops. The sub has its, you could have a full system that would work for a 200 person wedding without too much difficulty using the Passport 500 Pro and a powered sub that's in that uh, 500 to 1000 watt range. So that's the Fender Passport 500 Pro, a nice unit. I think if you're looking for a kind of an all-in-one solution for ceremony, um, small dinner music in a room, and even some smaller events, I think the Passport, the 500 Passport Pro could be an option for you. I'll put a link in the description so you can find out more information about this unit. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News.